Hi, it's Phil Bedford here, the Rebel Network, and welcome to this week's show. And today, I'm privileged to have with me the sales doctor, Ramis Lou. Ramis. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? And welcome. <laughs> <laughs> great to be here with you. And you might... Now, for a lot of people, they might actually be thinking that we should actually be uh, boxing here. <laughs> that really, sales and networking, shouldn't they be two completely... Uh, uh, polar opposites, as it were, in the training field. You know, uh, if you're a networker, do you really need to sell? If you're a great salesman, do you need to network? But Ramis, what do you think about that? I think that in order to sell, you have to have people to sell to. <laughs> and if you don't have people to sell to, then what's the point? You know, uh, you can learn as much training, you can get as much. Many times people give me a call uh, wanting sales training. Uh, they're starting businesses, uh, fresh entrepreneur business owners. And when I get to really do the proper diagnostic, it turns out that they don't really need training. They just need people that they can go and sit in front of and actually uh, let them know about the products and, and services that they have. Mm -hmm. And we know that people buy from people they like and trust. And how are people actually today, business owners, entrepreneurs, how are you building that uh, trust, that credibility between you and other individuals to actually give them confidence to actually mm -hmm. buy? Would you, for example, I mean, you originally you came from a large corporate yourself. Mm. Um, and I think one of the mistakes that I meet entrepreneurs doing is that they leave a corporate and start to use the same strategies that they use then to try and grow the business. I, I've started my business, so I'm going to put loads of money into marketing and advertising. Uh, or I'm going to start doing, uh, immediately employing people. What would your advice be for these people? I mean, I'll tell you, I'll give you my story. In 2010, I set up the Academy for Sales. So me, I mean, I, I come from a Unilever background and, you know, of course, uh, excited to go out there and uh, offer my, my uh, services and my value to others. The thing is, at the beginning as an entrepreneur, I didn't have a lot of money, but I had a lot of time. And typically, by the time you go figure it out, you gotta put a website, you gotta do the proper pay-per-click, and you gotta do that, 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 that. You end up with a huge amount, and plus, if you're in Dubai, the, cor the incorporation fees, that can end up being a lot of money for a, a new business without seeing any return. Mm -hmm. So the one thing that really I, I had, I, 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 I remember talking to you, and then the concept of do you build a roof before it rains, or do you build a roof after it starts raining? And as an entrepreneur, sometimes you don't know what rain is. And of course, rain is lack of money. You know, you're like, you know, you, know you, need, you need that. Money is oxygen for an entrepreneur business owner. So to me, I had no, not a lot of money to spend, yet I had time to invest in key relationships that actually helped me uh, get to the right people, which then converted for me opportunity after another, after another, and then the ball kept on going. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, yeah. So as a sales expert, really make sure you invest in, in the relationship marketing element uh, to basically provide those opportunities to then go and see an expert like yourself to teach them to sell to. I mean, absolutely. People, you got to have people to sell to. And to me, the word selling is to be of service. So we come from a different background. So, so people think selling is doing something bad to someone. You can sell someone one thing one time, but if it was done in the wrong way, you won't be able to have a sustainable long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I highly recommend any entrepreneur, business owner that doesn't have lots of money, cash, finances, and they don't want to build the structure and wait, you know, let's say a nine months to 18 months to be able to come up with an ROI. I mean, going back in time, within less than three weeks, I had made my ROI, whatever investment I did with the Referral Institute. And mm. it was those same ideas that I've learned to help me build my network mm. to actually fill many of my seminars, build lots of the relationships that I have. So if you don't have lots of money, yet you want to use your time in a wise way to help you build that roof before it rains, I highly recommend people attending the upcoming events at the referral list. In fact, it just occurs to me now, I think I want to uh, invite you back one more time. Yes. Because to hit on that subject of people that don't have a lot of time. Yes, uh-huh. So we'll come back and I'll invite you back another day to do Perfect. that. Is that okay? Sounds great. All right, so listen to what Ramos is saying. If you're a new business out there, is there a more effective way of getting new clients? There is. <laughs> Ramos? Yes. Thank you. Pleasure, Phil. Rebel Networker. <laughs>